Years ago, they found a fossil that was aged about 3 million years. A lot of scientists believe that this is the most important fossil that has ever been found. The fossil's name is Lucy. The type of animal that this fossil belongs to is a type of primate, and this type of primate is called the Australopithecus. Scientists believe that Lucy was one of the first steps primates took to become human. We mentioned this in other videos, but all primates originate from Africa. Three million years ago, the way the planet looked was not that different, but when you look at it more closely, you'll notice a lot of differences. Right now, when you look at the animal kingdom in Africa, there is a whole lot of different animals. Three million years ago, it was exactly the same. But a lot of those animals that lived back then are extinct now and they're no longer here. But our video is not about extinct animals. One of the coolest animals that lived back then was the saber-toothed tiger. When Lucy was living her life 3 million years ago, the most dangerous animal was a crocodile. All animals need to drink water, and these guys are the kings of the water. Instead of them finding the food, the food came to them. They would camp in the water until someone showed up and they needed a drink. And Lucy's family was probably one of those. Lucy's life was very hard. She goes to drink water, the crocodiles attack. She wants to get some fruit, a saber tooth attacks her. She goes to hunt some food, she gets hunted down by other predators. So it was extremely difficult for them to find food. Most Australopithecus fossils that have been found in the wild, they were mostly killed rather than die of natural causes. It is very rare to find a fossil that had not taken damage. There is fossils where leopard teeth are imprinted on somebody's skull. But a lot of the fossils are obvious that crocodiles had attacked them. And the way they realized that is that on the bones, there is crocodile teeth marks. The weather is hot and you're getting thirsty. You gotta get to the water and take a drink. But without paying proper attention, drinking water is very dangerous because there is a crocodile that has been sitting there for hours for someone like you to do that. From the fossils they found, one of them is very interesting. It's a skull of a three-year-old Australopithecus. This child was not killed with a crocodile, not by a saber tooth or a leopard. On its skull, there is marks where a very strong bird picked it up and killed it, probably an eagle. Between all the skulls that have been found of Australopithecus, most of them are smashed up. But the best one is Lucy's skull. Lucy's fossil and other Australopithecus showed archaeologists that this primate was slowly coming down from the trees and they wanted to live on the ground. But how did they know that? With the help of the shoulder bones. Because their shoulders look in between a homo sapiens and a chimpanzee's shoulder. As you know, different types of monkeys need a strong shoulder to hang from trees like this. Australopithecus shoulder shows archaeologists that it's starting to get weaker because they don't need the shoulder anymore. But on the side of that, other things are becoming stronger and stronger. We said this before, the biggest problem for an Australopithecus was probably a crocodile. But we missed one important thing, and that problem is finding food. This primate's teeth shows us that it mostly ate greens and fruits. And most importantly, they would eat the roots of these plants. When scientists realized that Australopithecus would eat the roots of plants, they realize that they're smarter than they look because they realize that the roots of these plants 
make them more full. There I say, they had more calories. And the most interesting part about this is that chimpanzees, one of the smartest monkeys, still doesn't know that they could eat the roots of different types of plants. And with this alone, we realize that Australopithecus were moving forward and they were separating themselves from other primates. Archaeologists believe that this was one of the steps that these primates took to become smarter. In different parts of Africa, archaeologists have found the footprint of different types of Australopithecus and that showed them that they would walk on two legs rather than all fours. Just like we said before, Australopithecus mostly ate greens and fruits, but it's not like they couldn't eat meat. They could very well eat meat but it was hard for them to find it or hunt for it. When you look at different types of monkeys, they use tool, but it's nothing complicated. They just use a rock to break something they need open. This is something other animals can't do except primates, and the rock is considered the tool. But there is a high chance that Australopithecus, primates like Lucy, used to modify rocks and turn them into tools. This is another reason that they believe Australopithecus were separating themselves from different monkeys. The oldest modified stone tools was about 3,300,000 years old, and that's a lot older than Lucy herself. No animals right now can modify tools and sharpen it. So this shows us that their mind was starting to spark a little bit harder than other primates. An Australopithecus average height was about 1 meter, and with this short of a height, they couldn't run either. History shows us that they slowly start eating meat. If you've seen our video about jackals, you'll see how they hunt for meat. Australopithecus were kind of similar. They would wait for other predators to kill their prey eat whatever they need, and then after the predators left, they could take over the leftovers. Predators like lion can't eat all the meat on the bone. They eat whatever it's on top and leave the rest for someone else. But Australopithecus had hands and they had somewhat of a brain. So they realized that they could break these bones, open it up, and there's a lot more meat inside. So they could use 100% of the meat they found. After a predator kills something, Usually vultures hang around until they're done so they can take over. But it seems like the vultures hated the ancient Australopithecus because they would eat everything and just leave the bone. When you compare Lucy's skull to a modern chimpanzee's, you'll see that Lucy's skull is already bigger than them. Chimpanzee is one of the smartest primates today, but it can't make tool. It still can't figure out that it could eat the roots of plants. And if you give it a box full of food, its brain can figure out how to open the box to reach the food. In an ancient South African cave, this stone was found. Archaeologists believe that this stone is about 2.9 million years old. They can't believe what it is and they don't know what it is. But some say that this might be the oldest statue in the world. And some say the Australopithecus did this rather than nature. What do you guys think? Doesn't it look like a face? Just like we said, Lucy was a female Australopithecus and she most likely had kids. Lucy's skull shows archeologists that it's very different from a chimpanzee. A female chimpanzee could very easily give birth without pain, but Lucy's body was very different and when she gave birth, it looked like it was very painful and there was a high chance of the mother or the child dying in the process. Another difference between Australopithecus and animals like gorillas and chimpanzees is that in different groups, there could be only one male gorilla. But it seems like the Australopithecus didn't have a problem like that. Scientists believe that another difference between modern primates and Australopithecus is that the father would not leave after having a child and they would actually live together rather than leave. When you look at Lucy's skeleton, archaeologists believe that she died because of natural causes, but she does have a broken bone and it seems like she lived with the broken bone rather than the cause of death. Scientists believe 
that these ancient primates would mourn the dead of their children and their families. And this is something that's not seen in most animals. But you could find this feature in chimpanzees. The story of these creatures is not over. We want to know where we came from and how we got here. But this is with the help of evolution and science. This was the first episode of the story of the humans.